Hello everyone, this is Will. This is Alex. Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Yeah! Mostly. Yeah, we back. On our, from our meme vacation. It was not a vacation, it was just memes. Yeah. It's all memes anyways. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all we are. It, yeah. We were just living our meme life. That's and true. We're back in the shit yep i'm boy howdy we got back into the shit because the last time we left off was a fucking horrible the fucking the worst thing Uwe ever bull film the worst garbage the fucking ever garbage and now House we got dead now we also just have... garbage different kind of garbage it's not quite as insufferable it's still but... pretty bad though yeah. like let's be honest it it was still really fucking bad Especially by the ending. Booped, also. Now, I would... Um, I would have... If it was a better movie, I would have blamed this on the poor poor video quality of the U YouTube video we watched. Yeah. But I can't do that. No. Because it is a terrible quality video, but that doesn't, that doesn't help the fact that this is just a complete shit movie. This is shit, dude. It's just garbage. Like no one no one needs to watch this fucking movie. The movie in question, by the way, is <laughs> Remember this. Remember this title because uh, you know, uh, we're going to have to do a competition. How many times does the murder weapon that's does mentioned in the This happen? Yes. How many times in the movie does this happen? Meat Cleaver Massacre. So, while you're while you're listening to this episode, um, I want you to keep a tally on how many times we mention a meat cleaver and how many times we mention a massacre. It's true. Okay. It's true to life. Yep. Just just uh, just keep that in mind as you go through this episode. Just think about it. Now, good lord, fuck this movie. This movie. There's nothing. So okay. So what I will say. I, well, no, you know what? I'm gonna say this for my final thoughts. Say it. I was going to say, the the idea was there. It is. Okay? The idea was there, right? It is. It's, it's an interesting concept. I will admit that. Yeah. That's about where my my praise of this movie ends. Because there there is no the, execution. The concept was good. Whoever, like, th thought... It was just a, probably just an idea that someone got... Some guy had. Exactly. And then they're like, okay, well, we're going to try to make a movie around that. And then they fucking failed at every single fucking venture. They could not do it. Like, not even core, like, film, like, even stuff that makes, like, shitty movies good wasn't here. Nothing was there. Like, there was no fun. There was no fucking, like, sense of horror. There was no, like, even gore to keep you entertained there was n no, oh my god literally nothing there was fucking nothing in this movie this no movie... no you're wrong you know what there was there was a boop okay the first death was a boop interesting i'm not gonna say good you know what interesting is right it was a choice but then they just went fucking generic after that they did they just like we're like okay we're gonna have one interesting death and then everything else is just fucking generic as hell just limp like <laughs> we're not even gonna try after this yeah it's just like forget it nothing's gonna happen well let's just get into it here we go folks so uh, uh, i mean i mean okay let's first explain the beginning and let's explain the backstory afterwards okay yes after the after we talk about the beginning that is so we get uh, this was like I was I had almost hope for this movie, right? No. This was like the beginning of the end. I had no hope because I knew that this movie has like a three out of ten. So we get a uh the credits and then oh no, we We, we don't get the credits, we get like the logos. We get logos and then finally Christopher Lee, Sir Christopher Lee shows, shows up, up yeah. on screen. And I was like, Holy holy crap, they actually got Christopher Lee on the shit film. Like, he's been in some stinkers. But, here's the thing. You get Christopher Lee on film, but he's... He's just talking about, like, lore. Like, lore and, like, the macabre and, like, certain, like, demons and how they can, like... And shaman and all how, this stuff. How they can, like, kind of interact with our lives and, like, how they can affect our everyday lives. And, like, he's just being all around, like, 
spooky. And then after, but right? here's the thing: like we're watching this, and also at the end, he's like, "Is this real or fiction?" And then it comes to like the actual credits. But the whole time, I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck does this have to do with meat cleavers and anything? It's funny you mention that. I think we should still save it till the end. No, I think we should explain this part. Why Christopher Lee's in this movie? Yeah, because here's the thing. Um, we found well, you found out mid movie because probably because you were bored out of your fucking mind that you started like googling the movie. Um, I will also admit, uh, you know, not shamelessly. I checked the to- how much time was left in this movie several times. Several times, and here's the kicker: it's only an hour and fucking nineteen minutes long. Only, but boy, does it oh, feel it, it, long. it feels way too long. Well, here's the thing: Christopher Lee was basically told to do this by a producer who explained to him that it was going to be part of a very different movie, and they filmed this. Probably something about, like, occult. Demons and, and like, shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, they told him it was going to be something completely different. And then they took that footage, and they put it into this thing. So the director sold the footage that he got from filming Christopher Lee to this to this filmmaker yeah. so that he could put it in his movie. Yeah. And that's why it makes no fucking sense in the context. Like, it, it it's very loose connected yeah like no it, it, by a fucking thread it's insane and he like thought about suing them for this but eventually they convinced him it would take too long and it's too much money he's like fuck it whatever i guess his lawyer was like it's gonna take a lot of money and time to do this and christopher lee was like okay whatever he also probably thought in his head like no one's gonna watch this movie and you know what he's right he's probably right until but today because want, we did if you want to see christopher lee and probably his worst i I can't knock him, but it's probably his worst movie ever. Well, it's not even his movie. Because he's in it for, like, maybe a total of, like, five minutes. Because even you said this. They filmed them so they could stick it on the poster. Yeah. Starring Christopher Lee. And they do. They shamelessly do. Even though he's not in the movie. Yeah. But. Oh, it's kind of funny because we were actually talking about that. We're like, what if, what if they were just, like, filming Christopher Lee for, like... Uh, like a documentary on the occult. Well, no, like... my comment was, this looks like they just filmed him in his house. Yeah. And it's, like, unrelated. And then you looked it up and you, like, lost your mind. Because that's pretty much what happened. Mm-hmm. They gave him this script. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, well, and, yeah. But, hey, that's how our movie starts. I doubt he even got paid for that. Maybe $20. Enough to buy, like, a taco. It's yeah. fine. But... That's how the movie starts. I was like, okay, fine. Yep. Credits. We get credits, and then we get a slideshow of like this demon. It's a. It's, it's a it's painting. Not, it's not a slideshow. It's just one painting that this guy has put into different slides, so we can see the whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. So we get like a guy pointing at the ground, and there's like a demon, and like a bunch of people dying around him. And so the guy is explaining the. No, he's not explaining. He's doing a séance. Oh yes. Oh, Mark, and summon the evil. It's just gobbledygook. It's just fucking demon bullshit. Yeah, and all these people are watching, and eventually you see it's a class. I want to know what this class is, though. I think it was like demonology. It had to be something like demonology or something, because he kept mentioning how they were going to go over different like oh. demons and lore and stuff like that. <laughs> the class ends, and he's like, next time we will go over, I even wrote this down, an Irish vengeance chant. I want to take that class personally. Well, you know what's hilarious is it's funny they mentioned an Irish vengeance chant because the demon they were just talking about, the demon Moloch. Yeah. Moloch, yeah. Moloch um, is a vengeance demon. Yes. It has to appease, you have to appease it by getting vengeance on people that have hurt you. Mm-hmm. So, but anyway, so that's the whole explanation of why, why Moloch is important to the film and why he's in the film. Um, well, the lore, at least. The you know. lore. He's not actually in the film, but... No. Um, so, students don't believe him, and they're, like, talking after class. He comes up to the some, bad boys. Some fucking dude is like, Ew, you guys believe all that demon bullshit? You believe that bullshit? And the professor's like, you may not believe it, 
but a lot of my students do. And you can write a thesis on how you don't believe it. Yeah, and maybe you, you could come it. to class too, and all this stuff. Yeah, like basically saying like, well, you can prove it that they're not real by like writing a. He thesis basically paper says on. like you're a fucking dumbass. Yeah, but of course the dude's like butt hurt. So they all go back to a party to to deliberate. <laughs> Not deliberate. They're at the party. One of them's shitting on the other because he couldn't get laid. And then one of them's burning. And, th and then that douchebag. Yeah, one of them's burning cards of like, naked women on them. Yeah, nude cards. For no reason. For whatever fucking. And the douchebag who was like, you believe all that bullshit. He's standing outside. Then he teleports <laughs> inside and is like, you ever kill a man? And they're like, oh, I, I could if these two cowards could too. And then. They're doing, like, this stupid, like, just impromptu, random, like, initiation. Murder. Murder. For no reason. Just because they want to. Because they want to. They have to. literally no reason, except for the teacher just said, hey, come to my class, and then you yeah. can write a paper, and they're like, grr. Ah, ah, fuck him. Fuck you, teacher that I'm paying for classes for. <laughs> Maybe they got, like, fucking... They got that. Maybe their parents are paying for it. I don't, I don't even know. know. I signed up for demonology, but I hate you. Yeah. Well, no, they don't know yet because they're driving down like the they're driving down to Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, you mean the stock footage of yeah. like some guy, some random person? It filming? looks like so stock footage of the city and then it looks like someone's rocking a van back and forth. Let me first off tell you this. This movie, which the title card says Hollywood. Meat Cleaver Massacre. Sorry, that's the first tally on Meat Cleaver Massacre. Yeah. But we mentioned it. Um, the Hollywood's if, if bullshit. You're, if you're keeping ca count, the Hollywood's bullshit. It's not said in Hollywood. It's not just that it's not said in Hollywood. Even on IMDb, the movie's just listed as Meat Cleaver Massacre. Yeah. So they had to add another layer. I don't know why. Of bullshit. Yeah. But they drive down, and they keep saying nonsense, and then that dude is just like, let's visit the professor. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the professor, and that's it. That's all it takes. And then we get the professor and his wife just sitting, and like the professor studying something, and then the dog keeps annoying him. So he's like, "Honey, can you take out the dog? It's annoying me." And then the wife opens the door, and lets out Pooper. Yeah, go on, Pooper. Pooper just runs off into nothing, and then the the douchebags wearing pantyhose on their head. They. Come to the dog, and they, like, he just picks him up. I, I They're supposed to be, like, torturing it, but, like, it just looks like a guy, like, playing with a dog. Well, he, like, picks it up and puts it down. It's like, okay. And then... It's supposed to be dead. It goes back to the house, and, and then come... you see him wiping the knife on his pants. A close-up of the knife. Now, it's a knife, not a meat cleaver, so... Um, then they go into the professor's house, so they sneak in behind the professor without... The professor knowing he's literally like inches from the professor, and yeah. he like sneaks past the professor and grabs this like candelabra or like a candlestick and just smacks him and smacks the professor over the head. And, and then we get well, one of the dudes is like, "I I thought we were just gonna mess around with him. I didn't think we were gonna kill him." The whole time he was like, "Let's kill the professor." He thought he was yeah. gonna fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they don't stop there. No. No one's heard them. And they just decide to go fucking just crazy. Yeah. And they're like, you know what? Let's just kill his whole family for no reason. So we hear like off screen moaning, which apparently is the wife dying. Yeah. One of them goes to the son who has spent like 20 minutes making putting, a sandwich, putting mayonnaise on bread, and, and then slapping. smashing them together. <laughs> <laughs> he made a mayonnaise sandwich. And then one of them goes and chokes him with a fucking toaster wire. And then and one like, of them kills the, the daughter. The daughter comes down and is like, Daddy, where are you? Daddy, Mommy. And then like... He stabs her in the face, I stabs guess. Her, stabs her. And then, it's not a kid, by the way. She just says, Daddy, Mommy. She's like a teenager, though. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they just kill the entire family. And they're like, all right, let's bounce. Yeah. That's it. That's the murder, and then we're like, okay, compelling. And then they're all sitting, and they're like, oh, man, like, you know, what if, like, what if they know, like, and they're like, no, like, you know, we killed everyone, there's no, like. We don't, I don't feel good, man, I don't feel good. How are they ever going to find out, like, the, um, the news will never make a connection. 
Oh my and God. then like the, so the detectives are there and they're searching the house. They, oh no, sorry. No, first they're at the hospital. Yeah. And the detectives, we'll, we'll call him Tiny Ty because that's what name we dubbed him. Because he's always wearing Tiny a Ty is being interviewed by a news reporter who's yes. reading his movie script off of like a little notepad in front of his face. Yeah. And he's just like, we don't know who did it. We will find out more. Goodbye. And that's it. And so they go um, to the hospital. And apparently the professor suffered a serious concussion, but is still like alive. He's alive, but he's useless as like a witness or anything. He can't talk and he can't move. He's, he's the, like paralyzed. But the best part, though is there's, like, the nurse in the room, like, doing nurse shit. And then he wakes up. And he just looks over. And he looks over. And, and he just, like, a zoom a in on his up. eyes for, like, 30 seconds just staring at the nurse. For no reason. And we're like, okay. Then. <laughs> oh, God. So then I, I don't understand this. Ne like He starts doing his seance in his head i guess and then the fucking like one of the guys that killed the family members is like sleeping on like just a couch yeah and he's just like he's starting to like he like tosses and turns and then we go into a dream sequence this scene oh my is God. i don't know you're you want to see a director lose their fucking movie <laughs> you want to see them just lose it this just is fucking it. Fucking go ham on a fucking weird ass dream sequence. Yeah, like the bad way. Oh like... my god, it's embarrassing. So it's like, so the guy, <clears throat> random. It's just random scenes. It's so the, it's the fucking idiot. It's like one of the guys running down like a, a cemetery hallway, like opening a, like a coffin, a, like a crematorium hallway, and then the other guy is opening a coffin like three separate times. But there's two guys that open the coffin, remember? Yeah. Two different guys. There's also another guy walking down like a fucking beach under a pier. Yeah. And then and he, he knocks over like... a, a, a hooded figure, and it's the dead body of the guy. And, the, and, and then, then there's another guy running into like a, like a, like a, a crematorium gate thing, yeah. In the crematorium. Like a gate? Yeah. And then he goes in the gate, and then the guy opens the coffin, and it's the, the, the girl, the daughter he killed, and she, like, reaches out and, like, touches his face, and then he wakes up. But but here's the thing. Our description took, like, 15 seconds. This scene takes, like, two or three minutes. A two or three minutes out of a fucking one hour and 19 minute movie. With, like, droning sounds of the seance about Moloch or whatever. So the guy's all distraught and the girl comes over and is like, hey, you've been acting weird. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why why are you doing all this stuff? And he's like, uh, you know what? I just need to get off alone. I need to... <laughs> I'm yeah. fine. I need to get off a Well, don't forget, own. she's like, you first you hang out with your friends, and then you lost your job, and you don't go to school, and you sit here and do drugs. It's like, I just need to get off alone. I need to go on a hike. Well, he sits there for a moment in silence, and is just like, I need to go on a hike. And then she's like, we can go on a hike together. He's like, no, because he has to go on a hike to go back. Get off alone, Will. Get off on his own, yeah. Well, here, what's his hike? He's just fucking wandering around in the fucking desert with cactuses. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Foreshadowing, maybe. In the middle of the goddamn desert, and then he just lays down on nothing. Yep. And then he starts hearing this weird chanting, and he like looks up and he looks around, and he's like, "Where is that coming from?" And then we see the the professor on his like his bed. Yeah. And he's like. His his lips are moving, but you hear this like audio going on of him chanting the same chant he was saying in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, and the guy looks around, and then like we just get a close up of a cactus just moving, and like the guy, the guy has like blood all over his shirt, and we're like, what the fuck? And then we get another close up of like just the cactus. Don't forget, we hear like whooshing sounds. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and the cactus just bops bops the the, <laughs> the, the, the camera. It's like. like it's just like some guy wearing, it's some guy like pushing the spines of a cactus into the camera. It's like, if you've ever seen those like cactuses where it's like a, it's like a circle, it's like a spiked circle. It's like someone picked up one of those and just booped the camera, and boops the camera. And then he's like, ah, ah, it's like more like, yeah. like blood all over his shirt. And then he just dies. He just dies. 
He got booped to death he by pooped. a cactus. That's our first death. Now, here's the thing, like, cool concept, right? Um, I've seen other movies like this that do it way better. Well, like a vengeance demon or like someone who's like un- like not able to do anything, so they, you know, they create a situation where they can summon a demon can, in yeah. their head. Yeah, I've seen it done better, but it's like a fine thing, and it's like it's a cool idea. It is, but you know, it's fucked when our first death is is a cactus boop. Yep, you I'm... know it's over. You know there is no hope. I hate it. All right, so. <laughs> Then we, the fucking guys get back together and like start getting nervous about like getting caught. And then they're all talking, and there's some woman there. Again, they're talking about getting caught. Yeah, Uh, the same douchebag is just like, we're not gonna get caught. And then the woman's like, I'm gonna leave, and he's like, No, you can't. And he kisses her, and pours beer on her, like pours like a little. She's like, What are you doing? And then like she's like, like, "Ah." Now you have to get out of your clothes. And she just leaves. And then scene ends. And then no. But don't forget how the scene ends. They're like talking about like we didn't. That guy's not dead, and he's like he's as useless as a carrot. I hate carrots. What does it cut to? It cuts to blood on a mirror. Yeah, the and then, guy smearing uh, it all over the mirror. And then Mr. Carrot, like gra- grasping at the mirror, dying, and we're just like, what? Yeah, and then and then literally like we go from this thing where they're all nervous and the girl gets a beer spilled on her blood on the mirror and then just the carrot guy alone on a fucking couch on a couch and And then he's sitting there and then we get another and then we get a shot of him reaching for a straight razor and then cut back to couch and he's like he picks up a newspaper where it says like (coughs) the newspaper says like blah like it's about the crime that they did and then he throws it away and then he starts narrating and then we get another scene of him reaching for the straight razor. And yeah, this is in a different position now. Yeah. Continuity. And then like... But my favorite is the narration. It's just like, I don't know why I did that. I had such a good job doing part-time work at the gas station, and I liked my class so much. And then he's just like, I, I only have one thing to do. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry, I'm sorry Dad. Dad. Sorry, Debbie. And I'm I... just thinking like, are you kidding me? All the, all the while, it's it's intercutting with him reaching for the razor blade and him like cutting his wrist and blood going everywhere. With the razor blade in different positions every yes. time. So then he goes into the bathroom and picks up the straight razor razor for the f- like fourth time, <laughs> and then like he like looks at his like he looks at his wrist. Yeah. And he takes the razor close to his wrist, right? And you're thinking like, oh, okay. he's gonna do it. It was a premonition. This is how he dies. He's gonna do it. And then he's like. He looks at his watch. He's like, oh, shit, I'm late for work. I'm late for work. And then he leaves. He leaves. What and the point. So it's like, I, it was already dumb. I was already like, is he really going to kill himself? With like, I love you, mom. I love you, dad. Is this going to happen? Which was dumb. But then he just leaves. And I'm like, why? That's even more dumb. But that's fine. So now he's at a gas station at night. Working. Working. It's like fucking two in the morning. With a shit. single fucking light bulb. It's not even a flashlight. It's literally like a one of those like light bulbs that you just hold. Yeah. That's it. And it's not even attached to anything. It's just on a cord. Yeah, like... And he's just holding it while he's working on the fucking He doesn't car. even have a flashlight. It's fine. But then he hears a noise. So he's under the car and he hears a noise. And then he gets out and he's like, what was that? He looks around. He's like, oh, fuck it. And then he goes like... He goes into the car and tries to start it. Hears more noises. Gets out of the yeah. car. Goes to the engine and just starts working on the engine, and there's a little decal on the car that says demon. Yeah, you see it for like a fucking millisecond. How how cute. (laughs) But he's working on it, and then it it keeps, it like goes up to the hood, and you see a tiny little like. You know what's gonna fucking happen. Like, you know the fucking. Okay, you know on like cars, like there's that little like connector at the very top of the hood. Yeah, it's like a little hook that you have to dislatch, and it so it keeps the hood down, and it shows the hook, and we're just like, ah. Uh... So then it just starts fucking slamming on him. It slams him and slams him, and then at the very last shot, you see a black demon hand on it, 
He's well, dead. You always you know, see blood on the hook, too. Like, it's just, like, dripping from the hook. And he's dead. And then the next morning, two douchebags pull up, and then one of them walks in and finds him. Yep. So the Detective Tiny Ty had also found this little, like, like yellow triangle at one of the crime scenes. He found it at this one. And he thought it was, like, a gang thing. Yeah. Um, so he had to find all the people that were associated with that, yeah. that, that patch. So, um... They go somewhere. Oh no! Sorry, is this where they're driving around? They're asking. They like, it's like intercutting with them asking around the campus about like how the how the professor was such a yeah. Like everyone loved the professor. Well, because like... this is where they introduce them to the detective number two. Yeah, and then they're in a car with voiceover and montage. Montage of them just doing detective work. Of them, one of them walking around campus, and the other one going to a bookstore. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So they find out that, like, you know, basically everyone liked the professor, and they're looking for people who maybe were disgruntled with him. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I mean, stuff we already knew. Then we get douche number three. Oh, my God. He's walking around supposedly Hollywood. It's not Hollywood. He's walking down a street that has, like, apparently every fucking sex bar. There's, like, 69 and Dime and fucking, like, everything. Was it the Oral Fixation Club? Yeah, and then for no fucking reason... Cut to inside. Inside of the Oral Fixation. One of them. It it literally looks like someone's hotel room. And a a black priest walks in and... and (laughs) And they're just Stop like... Stop me if you've heard this one before. A black priest walks into a, a sex joint. A black priest walks into a sex shop, and then oh my God. he walks in, and they just kind of look, and then he's just like, they're like, what do you want? And he just goes on, like... He's like, my sins of passion are getting the best of I me. I feel lust in my loins. And then they're just like, okay, I get we it. We can take care of you for tw- $20. 20, 20 buckaroos, my dude. And he smiles, and they go into the back room. To fuck! in scene and the guy's still walking around in the fucking hollywood i thought that was gonna be a throwaway like joke but then he was but But then then the guy walks into the fucking sex shop and then he's just like i'm looking for this person and the guy walks in like a back room and then like gets her in like literally like no time yeah well because he's like let me see if she's busy and then then... it's like his school girlfriend She's and like, what just, are you doing here? What are you She's doing like, easy here? Easy money. How do you think I pay for the book? I have to pay for my tuition. <laughs> and then he's just like, okay. Well, I have to leave. She's like, no, don't go. And then they kiss. Don't forget, when he was walking around Hollywood, it kept showing like a millisecond clip of two people kissing. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck is this? And now you see that clip. So she like keeps kissing him and telling him not to go, and they start macking on each other, and then with no prompt, no None. fucking anything, just cut to a different movie. It, I'm not shitting you; it's just a just an entirely different movie. It is a completely different movie. It's like a black and white movie, like a noir thing. And we're just like, what the fuck is and, like, this? There's a guy running away, and like there's a girl in a bed, and like they fucking get into a plane and get shot. And, and then like, ends. And he's like, oh, good thing I have good insurance. And then it ends. And then... It's a theater. And then he's in the theater and he's doing the film reel. He's, he's a projectionist. I literally thought the YouTube video we were watching, some guy just fucking uploaded... Just a, goofed. Like, uploaded, like, a random clip of, like, a different movie for a minute. Yeah. Because that's... There's literally no, like, context. We had no idea this guy worked in a movie theater. No. We had no idea that he worked as a projectionist. Nothing. Like, no no context just cuts to a different movie well there's no context of anything like and and this other movie clip goes on for like almost a minute yeah like solid yeah i'm just like holy shit at least explain why we're watching another movie for like a minute no but it cuts back to him at the booth and the movie ends and there's something wrong with the machine like the projectors acting up and then he starts seeing the visions of them murdering the people. He sees himself in the pantyhose and, like, you know, just looking at himself. <laughs> and then he's like, I swore I turned this projector off. And then it turns off. And he hears a random noise, so he runs down. And then we get a random shot of, like, the theater owner yeah. being like, We gotta stop running those monster pictures. And I'm like, You weren't showing a fucking monster. He's movie. like, There's no monster in that movie. It's nothing. And then he runs. Back to the projection room. And it's closed. 
And he's like, I have no idea. So he goes like, to... I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. So he goes to, like, this electric box and, like, grabs his shirt and, like, opens it. And then it explodes in his face and he dies. By the way, worth mentioning, in the last two deaths, every time they die, it keeps cutting back to the painting. Oh, right. Remember? Yeah. And it shows, like... The painting at the beginning with the demon and the guy, like, something. Like, there's a guy in the painting gets killed by a cactus. No fucking joke. There's a guy that gets smashed by a rock. And then there's a guy who's on fire. It's yeah. like, okay, it's a stretch, but fine. Sure. And he burns his face so hard... That he dies. He dies. He has third-degree burn. They say third-degree burns on his face and chest, but there was nothing on his chest. And then after this, we get Detective Tiny Ty walking down a beach monologuing and he, going over the deaths he like, keeps saying the names of the three the people in the gang over and over again he's like one died by getting I, stabbed getting stabbed multiple lacerations uh next one smashed to death by a, a car hood and uh, the hook went into his skull third one third degree burns on his face and and chest the only one remaining is blah 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 and then he's like i think i can find him and he finds him. It, like, instantly. But here's the funny part. He finds him. He goes in. He yeah, goes into the douchebag's room. And he's like, you know what I think? I think the professor is summoning a demon. I think he summoned a demon to get revenge on this and that. He's like, but in all... Unprompted the... by yeah. anything, our man is fully on board. Now, I don't know if this is why, but he also mentions the fact that Every single thing he read about demons, there's a way to counteract the curse. So maybe he was trying to lure the guy to the professor's house. Yeah. But they never explain that. No. They never explain his plan to lure the 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 guy. You have to connect the dots yourself. But that's not even there because here's the thing. It, after this, it goes to the house, professor's house. Douchebag is there. Cop shows up and says, like, hmm, it, well, Mason so-and-so, this is very interesting. And then he gets stabbed. Yeah, he gets stabbed, and then Mason keeps looking for the fucking clues. And he goes everywhere, and then he goes into the basement looking for the occult stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it's an incomplete basement, and he just goes into this random, like, alcove. There's not even an, any indication of what the fuck he's looking for. I think he's looking for a way to like reverse the curse, but like they don't they don't explain that. So then he goes through like the occult stuff, and we get a hand. Yeah. And then we get the professor laying on the ground, like, and we get the painting, and the last we finally see the last victim is like being picked up by the demon and is gonna like eat him. And, and he, he has his uh, and his eyes like yeah. gouged out, whatever. So then like. We the see a demon hand, remember? Demon hand, and then it goes closer, and then a blurry-ass demon shows up on screen and fucking just slaps around this guy <laughs> a little bit. If you didn't have epilepsy before, boy, you're gonna get it. So it's blurry, it's incoherent, and there's a bunch of jump cuts. And, and also, like, the demon is like a fucking dude in a goddamn, like, Yeti Bigfoot costume. It looks like a costume. Yeti fish costume. Yeah. And so he like slaps him around, and then like his eyes, his eye pops out, and then and then we get this fucking scene of a bunch of orderlies at like a mental institution. They're just like he he really thinks he got attacked by a demon, and he's like holding his eye in his hand, and he's like laughing, and then like you can clearly see he, ha he still has both eyes. He's like, eh -ha -ha -ha. and then he like feels his eyes, like, eh -ha -ha -ha. and then like one of the orderlies is like, this is my first nut. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm sure it is, buddy. I'm sure. You know what? I'm sure it is. I'm proud of him. I could, I can, this is not my first nut. I could not, I could literally <laughs> not say that line straight face. Like, how many attempts do you think it took to be like, this, this is, is my, my first, first nut? nut. <laughs> Your first nut was Meek Cleaver Massacre. <laughs> this is my first nut. This was not my first nut. Not even close. Can you nut to this? No. How the fuck would you? What would you nut to? Would you nut to the fucking epileptic goddamn eye gouge murder? Can you nut to that? The Yeti, no. the Yeti fishman? Cactus no. I, 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 yeah. Cactus oh, man. Death. When that fucking boop hits you. Yeah. Nut. Booped by a cactus. Nothing, fucking nut. Nothing hotter. 
God damn it. I... F- oh my god. After he says that, and then the guy is just like sitting there in the fucking padded room, and he's just like, you believe all that shit, Professor? You believe all that shit? And then it cuts back to Christopher Lee talking <laughs> just, about another movie. Just talking as he's in another movie, because he's like... And now he's rhyming. Oh yeah, he is. Now he's rhyming everything together, and it's about... He's talking and telling a story about two shamans fighting each other at like a convention. And then it just uh, a ends. A convention of the occult. And then they do all this weird shit with weather. And then it ends. I'm not kidding. Like the fucking... sh- he explains that the shamans summon lightning and water and rain. And then the and movie. Tsunamis and tsunamis and everything. And then the movie ends. And then. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. It just ends. It just. It just fucking poop end. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this movie fucking sucks. I hate this shit so much, this dude. This movie is fucking terrible. I can't. Like, I have no words. I, like, the execute, <laughs> the lack of execution is like the, it's like the laziest form of filmmaking I've ever seen in my entire life. The, uh, dude, they barely <sighs> tried. They don't try anything. Occasionally. One of the occasionally he thought he was being fucking clever and like used like fucking Dutch angles and shit, but other than that, it's just blah. Like it, there's so little payoff here. There's there's no payoff. There's there's so th- no. It's like negative payoff. Yeah, you think it's something and then cactus. It's like an anti nut. It's like blue balls. The movie. Yeah, you can't nut. Yeah. It doesn't even try. It doesn't even try. It's not your first nut. It's no nut. It won't even give you a handy. It doesn't even... It just doesn't do anything. You just can't. Can't. Oh, it's just a dry dock. It's not even that. It w- there's no dock. There's nothing. It's like you think you're gonna... You get a dry dock, and there's just, like, a wall. You're just like, oh. This movie just never... It never, like, finds footing anywhere on nothing like like it just goes like i mean it's you know barely feature length barely and so it just like it does so little like it's one of those movies where they they had a concept it was poorly executed or not executed at all and they they have so little time but they still had they still had such little ideas that they had to pad it out by different random like like dream sequences yeah. and like these weird detective like sequences. An hour and nineteen minute they movie. They couldn't fill an hour and nineteen with an interesting concept. A guy summoning a demon while he's paralyzed. To murder people. Like it's great. But no, they couldn't. Like what was that movie where the guy was in the He was like it wasn't a demon, but he like manipulated things while Psychic he Psychic was... Killer? Yeah. Yeah. It's Remember fun. that movie? That was great. That was fucking awesome. That was fucking lit. It was great. And and, and like they they fo- they had their concept and they followed through with it. And they, it was actually decent. And they had fun. Yeah. With it. And then this is just fucking bullshit. This is like <laughs> nothing. Yeah. It it's stupid. If you want to watch this piece of fucking hot garbage it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's a fucking awful quality. You know what? It's the kind of quality it deserves. But go watch it. Fuck it. Um. Yeah. So shitty to pretty. One. Yeah. I. If we could I rate, can't. if we could rate it a zero, I would. But there's, there's been shitty movies that I've given like a two, just because I'll find there's something. something. But this one has not literally nothing going there's nothing to latch on to like there's nothing to like in this movie i i literally didn't like anything in this movie i was bored the entire time it made an hour and 19 minutes feel like fucking like three or four hours like a goddamn eternity like i wanted i, I wanted to take a meat cleaver to my face oh oh and, yeah whoa <laughs> meat cleaver oh yeah were you keeping score zero zero meat cleavers one massacre, zero Hollywood. Okay, but well, it wasn't even a massacre. It was like a home invasion. Yeah. So uh, what meat cleaver? What massacre? Where did that even come from? Like where? Why? They don't. Okay, so at the very least, well, if you're gonna call, I have a theory. At least have a guy killing someone with a meat cleaver. 
I have a theory. Did they just do that because Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 74? Is that the only thing? It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. There's no way it's not. And this has nothing, nothing to do with, like, any massacre. Because you have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then you have Hollywood Meat Clip. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Well, they did that. They did that. It's like the first Asylum. It's like it's like Asylum movies, the beginning. Yeah, but with... Where they have, like, those, like, weird titles to kind of throw you off and make you think it... Like, you know, stupid people are going to think... Like, we have one of those coming up. You mean the next one? The next one for 77, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. We do? Uh, yeah. We got a meme. So, like, you know, I remember that as a kid. Like, I really wanted to see snakes on a plane, right? So, we went... This will age me, but we went to Blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Blockbuster was lit. I loved Blockbuster, okay? Um, we went to Blockbuster, and I was looking for Snakes on a Plane. Guess, you watched... what, guess what Asylum movie I picked? Snakes on a Train? Snakes on a Train. Yeah. So it's one of those titles where they kind of try and throw you off, like Transmorphers or something like that. Atlantic Rim? Yeah. And like, But this is like the first version of it, because they did Hollywood Meat Cleaver Massacre instead of Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre. Yeah. Just because... So to the untrained, stupid, like, just some bumbling idiot walks yeah. in and is like, me and my wife wanted to see Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but this'll do. It's fine. Maybe it's the sequel, I don't know. Boy, they're gonna be disappointed. He's not getting a nut. No. He's no nuts. This is not, be had. Be, this is not gonna be his first nut. In fact, he's there's no nut. You know what's gonna be? The last nut. That's this movie. It's the last nut. <laughs> it's the last nut. Watch this before November so you can do no nut November. Like, this will be the last nut. This is the last nut for you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. All right, well, that was me, Cleaver Massacre. Yeah. And I'm done. I'm done. I know it's been a while since we recorded an episode, but I got nothing else to say. It's okay. Okay. We'll have even less to say on Thursday when we get back to um, our man. Oh, God. Ooh. Our fucking moron maybe that's why we're just subconsciously like not recording because like we know that uve bowl is coming next we know it's coming yeah i hate it i hate it too alone we'll in do the it. dark and i've seen the whole movie fuck you i know you haven't i haven't oh my i'm gonna god. be oh my god i'm in for a surprise baby yeah oh hell yeah you are i love it the fucking Ugh. don't talk about I it i won't say anything uh, <laughs> don't talk about it uh anyway for they mostly come out at night this has been will this has been alex and we will talk to you all later bye <clears throat> my first nut my first nut, my first nut. boop cactus <laughs>